welcome back to another video and in this video we go drag racing again the last video or the last drag racing video was a fail car was pinging in its shops but this event should be much better I've got F in the car the car has been retuned it is happy it's healthy got some more RPM in it and I think it's gonna do well I'm gonna mess around with boost by gear tonight what's happening there so I'm gonna mess around with boost by gear see if I can dial it in better so I was driving the car last night and it just felt savage because it was like 80% 85% uh, boost in second gear and only 45 in first so first is like cool and into second and it just does a massive rolling burnout so I turned it down to 65% and we'll see if that helps me but I'll just I'll tweak it I've got my laptop here today I've got it working today which I'm super pumped about because I've got a Mac and they only make software for Windows so I had to do like some sort of virtual machine but enough of that let's let's get this going so my timing is great just got grooves so he's beaten me before so hopefully we get a run in tonight that thing sounds really good so yeah hope I get to run with him tonight should be should be good he's got a lot of sea time he drives the cartel mods six involved and the owner is next to him in the car so yeah he's got a lot of Kilani sea time so this evening I came a little bit later because the last event I kind of just I was too eager so I'm gonna just give the car some time to cool off let the IT's and everything be correct but there's like not many guys here yet but it should be a fairly busy night yeah there's actually a lot less people than there was at the last event just want to do a quick walk around before we start racing the J2 boys are here don't know who else is coming but yeah this is this is us there's not a lot of people here tonight so I should be getting quite a lot of runs in, getting it ready to go out soon. I'm just going to do a couple of shakedowns, see what traction is like, and then dial in, boost my gear. But yeah, should be a fun night. Okay, I'm lining up against a Civic VTEC, my air temps. Are quite high so I'm not gonna do any wheel spins or anything I kind of just eased it off the line and okay it felt it felt okay so I'll leave it at that sort of boost setting and kind of just get comfortable with it but it felt good a lot of wheels been in second still but that was okay Okay, I'm racing Cuvision. Thank you. 
a slight delay on shifts. I don't know if it's clutch slip, but like feels like a bit of a delay on shifts. Cuvetion's car is quick. That was a 1402. Not bad for it's still being quite early. Air temps are still 40 degrees, which is quite high. So I think I'm going to let the car chill for a bit and then I'll come out when the temps drop a little bit more. So looks like I'm racing a Honda EF. There's Doc VTEC decals on the side, so I don't know if if it's that or what's what. But this will be my third run for the night. but just like a little delay on shifts like it's not biting and going that was a 14.09 again with another 14.0 <clears throat> racing a FN2 Type R eating full power in third so it's like it just feels like it's taking forever for me to actually get to full power no that took way too long to actually pass him that is a 14.3 I was terrible diving so I'm lined up next to a mark one with the beams in it actually been looking forward to racing this guy I know he's quick so I feel like I feel like he's going to He's going to beat me. But we'll see. We'll see if I'm able to actually put the power down or what's what. <laughs> So I'm lined up, I'm going to line up against the beams again. I bogged off the line, as you can tell. I really hope that I could get a cleaner pass on this one. Oh, 
Helicopter. I just can't launch this thing. Why do I bog again? What an epic fail. Oh, that was so close. That was a... I don't know what that was actually. So I just spoke to the guy with the beams. He's making like 140 kilowatts, but that thing is bloody fast. So he does like a 13.7 He's on semis, does like 13.7 and I've been doing 13.9s now, so yeah, it's, it's not cool. Yo, of course it gapped him. Oh, they sound amazing. Right lane takes it. didn't bog but I shifted it to third too early so, yeah I don't like this losing thing it's not fun okay so I'm lined up next to is the thousand didn't do a burnout to the fail Then my virtual machine wasn't wasn't working, so I didn't turn it up. But it's still at 65%. That was a 13, another 39. That's kind of like my my number. <laughs> Facing a Mark 6 GTI. You guys are subscribers, so if you're watching this. I'm racing that Mark 6 again. I added a little more boost in first and second. Let's see how that feels. If it makes any difference. Oh, I thought it was see this wheel hop there.
actually need to turn the boost down in first that second because that was worse than that was worse than the first run so this car is tuned and put together by Jamil so yeah I don't know I didn't get any draggy data for the previous run so what is that that was a 14.3 okay so I need to turn I need to turn the boost down again I always learn more watching the videos and actually driving the car which is very weird better against this Mark 1 again. So I will turn it down. I need to turn on first and second gear. And then, so I turned it up and that didn't help. <laughs> oh man, it's so frustrating. I need better tires for sure. I'm racing a Taz with a 20 valve in it. Aggie's not connected up. Okay, he's still trying to get satellite. if that was better it's just against a slower car that's a, apparently a stock 20 volt that was a 14.6 I don't know what's going on with me guys I am getting worse so I just <laughs> I just can't get like launching it 
first gear and it just sits there, just wheel spin, wheel spin, wheel spin, there's just no traction. And I turned it down to 40% in first gear. So I, I genuinely don't know. Like, I warmed up the tires, I did what I need to do, I just can't get it off the line properly. So this will be my final run, I think. So I'm just going to let this thing spin. out of boost going into second not dropping out but like it's not there's like this delay like no wheel spin just kind of nothing so I don't know if I should add some more boost in it in second again what time is that that was a 14.2 that was a that was a decent run I was actually able to launch with that Taz instead of him just like out launching me. Last run for the night. us do you want to go for another run after we just came from a run and I was like yeah sure <laughs> yeah um this yeah that was okay I don't know I need to get myself sorted out but you know what sea time is vital and that was a a 14.6 just left Kilani. I'm behind that, I think it's a G80 M3. This car runs it's very impressive off the line, it's like a rocket. I need to put in my tires. It's gonna jump. Just realized that I didn't end off this video. I just did a uh, I just popped it out in Mexico with me to do some 100 to 200 runs. I did two runs. So the first run I shifted into fifth, and the second run I just kept it in fourth. And I'll put that up on the screen now. So that was my goal to try and get the car under 10 seconds, 100 to 200, and I'm chuffed. I can definitely do better if I brake boost it, which I didn't do. I kind of just like ran it through third. And yeah, I'm, I'm chuffed for that for now, but I am not chuffed with the way the car is performing at Kilani. It's just, yeah, wheel spin central. So I tried, I tried many things, but it wasn't, it wasn't working out for me. I don't know. So I definitely need semis. I, I mean, I've had some, I've had good, I wouldn't say good luck, but I mean, I ran a 13.5 on the street tires and I just couldn't even get anywhere close to that so I don't know if it's just 
yeah, I'll just blame myself. Can't blame Kilani. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's probably a long one because I got quite a few runs in. But as much as I'm frustrated, I had fun. Just, yeah, sea time. I'll definitely get better. That more RPM is definitely great. But I'm not really seeing it in my kilometers an hour over the 400. So, I just, yeah, I just need to work on that first half. Because from third, and then it's like, cool, now we're going. And I, I don't like that. I want to actually get the car out and just stay ahead. So, that's the goal. But yeah, all in due time. Guys, I hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.